Hi guys, welcome to my channel Audio Visual Music and Entertainment. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to bypass the passive crossover in a studio monitor or any kind of speaker and then integrate an active crossover to that studio monitor or to that particular speaker to get your desired crossover frequency from the woofer and the tweeter. Uh, now, this question been asked to me many times in the past, so I decided to make a video on it. And uh, without any further ado, uh, let's just jump into the video and I'll show you all the connections, how to get it done properly. Okay, see you in the video. Alright guys, for this demonstration, I'm using a Boston Acoustics bookshelf or a studio monitor. Now, if you can see inside the cabinet, uh, that green board right there is the passive crossover. So what I have done, I've taken the actual woofer and tweeter out of the cabinet and disconnected the passive crossover from it. And uh, I have connected uh, the woofer and the tweeter to uh, the active crossover, which is right here. And I'll show you all the connections, how I have done it. And uh, so basically, uh, if you can see right here, I'll show it to you right here. Uh, okay. So uh, I'm using a Yamaha AG06 uh, audio interface and I have connected it via USB to my laptop right here. Uh, and then what I have done, I've taken an output uh, from, from the Yamaha AG06 uh, audio interface and then I have connected it uh, to the channel 1 input on the active crossover. So I'll show you at the back how I have done it. Alright guys, uh, so basically what I've done is I've taken the output from the audio interface and I have connected it to one of the channels input on the active crossover. Then I have taken a low output uh, via XLR and connected it to uh, channel one on the amplifier and high output from the crossover and connected it to channel two on the uh, amplifier. All right, guys, uh, so then uh, from the amplifier, I've taken from channel one, I've taken the output and connected it to the studio monitor woofer right here. And from the channel two output of the amplifier, I have connected it to the tweeter of the studio monitor. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, play a track and demonstrate you how I'm cutting over the uh, frequencies. Okay, so let's just play the track. So basically what I'm doing is, if you look at the crossover right here, let me just focus in properly so you guys can see everything. So if you look at the crossover right here, I am crossing over uh, at 440 hertz uh, using this knob and the low cut filter is switched on at 25 hertz. So this means any frequency uh, above 440 hertz is going to the tweeter that that tweeter right there and uh, any frequency below 440 hertz is gonna go to this uh, woofer right here uh, okay so I'm just gonna increase the volume from the amplifier so as I said, on channel 2 of the amplifier, I have connected the uh, tweeter. So, and on channel 1, I have connected the woofer. Now I'm going to add in the tweeter. So 
also guys uh, i have switched on the phase inverse buttons on both the high uh, frequency and the low frequency as well so if there are any phasing issues that would address that okay so i'm just gonna crank the volume again <laughs> So now I have muted the higher frequencies and now I have muted the lower frequencies. So I'm going to unmute the higher frequencies now. So um, guys, uh, basically uh, the actual benefit of using uh, uh, active crossover is to get your desired cut over frequencies at a certain point. So you can send certain frequencies to the woofer and then certain frequencies to the tweeter. Uh, all right guys, if you have liked this video, please click on the like icon, share the video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. So when I create new videos, you get notified. All right, take care, bye-bye.